The Miami Dolphins know this season is coming and losing Mike Gesicki to free agency could be a real possibility. They tried and failed to replace him, it is clear that 2022 is not a favorable year for Mike Gesicki. He's not used to the level that Dolphins fans are used to and he's been put in a position where he has to make more saves than passes. Pure and simple, he's not the tight end Mike McDaniel needs, although Gasicki's appearances were all very successful, McDaniel was still not satisfied with him. Making things worse is the fact that Chris Greer chose the Gasicki franchise. That's great for Gasicki but $10 million the way the team used him, could have been spent somewhere else, Greer knew this day would come. Two years ago, he traded in the draft for a tight finish, Hunter Long. A solid prospect from Boston University, Long was supposed to be Gasicki's replacement but, in reality, he failed to jump into the NFL, injuries have plagued him for two years so far and he has missed game after game. Appearing more on the inactive list than on the active list. In his two seasons, Long has three goals in one go. He has two starts in the 16 games he has been active in. If Chris Greer was aiming for Long to replace Gasicki, he missed. If he's aiming for Long to be number two next to Gasicki, he's missed, pure and simple. So far, Chris Greer has missed Hunter Long and now, the team will pay the price for that. The Dolphins will enter the 2023 season with a huge demand for the position and honestly, there's no reason to believe that Hunter Long is the one to anchor the unit. There is still a lot of growth potential for Long and maybe he can turn things around if he can stay healthy. The tight end is one of the hardest positions to learn in the NFL, and he still has a lot to learn. Miami will likely hit free agency looking to improve this unit and it could come in the early days of the market opening.